This is Cisco EPC3825 modem. It has been in the closet for a while and I bring this up and try to make a video for how to program. And this is the SPI flash as well and it is the most easiest to work with. So let's open it up. And there is a flash is in here. So we just need to clip the flash. So the way to connect the flash is I'm going to use the same power adapter here as well as the clip here. And you just need to connect like this and apply 3.3 volt to this board. And we are going to go to the computer and show you how does this work. And with this adapter, 3.3 volt to the chip, you do not need to have the 12 volt in here. I have hooked up the uh, EPC3825 modem. And uh, this is SPI, so we need to go to the uh, select SPI target and see whatever is available and I'm going to select 6120 and 6120 has 8 mega flash which here matches this was like 25Q64 CV and then we can read back the flash so if you look at the tabs here this does not seem to match you know that's not logically is not the same layout as 6120 so i'm going to find a way to make an xml for it so first we let's back up the flash so let's save it as a backup okay now i found this very interesting website uh it's the open wrt Org, they have someone tested and the this is their layout I'm going to see if this makes sense so first of all bootloader is at zero so let's take a look at zero of course it's bootloader so this is bootloader and then there's unassigned is 8000 hex so let's see. and it's nothing so let's try the one ten thousand uh, hex the one zero 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 and this looks like yeah this likes configuration files and let's take a look of the image one the two zero yeah and let's take a look of the image two is forty zero D40 yeah they do looks like this yeah. so I'm going to create the XML based on this chart okay so the way we do it is we go here and say new XML target XML it's a modern copy from let's say 6120 and then name is EPC uh, 3825 SPI flash and this will be what's the name of it name of bootloader so I'm called this way bootloader as well bootloader and the size is uh, 8000 so this will be so this size we need to split the bootloader was 8 okay also oh, we need to split uh, let's study this first so clear 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 and 
then we split this one from bootloader to 8,000. The second one was unassigned. And look at that. Unassigned, then the permanent non let's say called non -vol non volatile so I'm going to split from here to non volatile which has the size of 8000 as well so 8000 and let's take a look that next one would be image 1 image 1 was 3e00 so image 1 will be split one and non volatile is size 1000 so this will be start image one and then the split of this one with image image two and this will be three e So start from full zero and the dynamic non volatile. Okay. This will be split 3E. Non volatile. This will be permanent. No. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, the eventual will be the size. And so now we can go here, say I want to see EPC, and this is the size, and let's lo load the file. We load it. So this is bootloader, an unassigned permanent. Image zero, 01, image 2, dynamic, and or flash. So we have properly made the um, made the configuration and let's take a look. And they take a look configure shows SPI and we can go to the configuration folder which is here. This is a file where we create it. We can also open uh, SP TSP 6120 to compare if there's any. And this is not needed. Uh, look at the, so we have, I think this XML is created properly. So just for fun, we are going to erase an image one and uh, see if we can program it. So image one is erased. Let's verify it. And we can load back again and program the image one. Oh, still programming. Let's compare it. So good. Um, so in this video, actually, I am uh, find some useful information on the internet and create an XML based on that information. And it does look right to me. And I hope this video can help people when they have an unknown target, they can learn the technique to make an XML for themselves.